rock and metal jam for about eight and a half years. Back in December 2018, the Bastion here came out. He was 12 years old, four foot nothing. His parents, who are great people, brought him out. And we looked at him and we said, oh. And then he started playing. He wanted to play some Iron Maiden. And as soon as he started playing, we went, ha oh. ha He's one of the best guitar players I've ever worked with. Then, so you are? I'm James Alcock, my front uh, mate in 06. And you got a Helen Back hat too. James. And I got a Helen Back hat, yeah, Helen Back ACDC tribute, the Canadian ACDC tribute. After we heard him play, he came out for one more jam. I got the guys together and said, why don't we give him his first paying gig, give him a thrill. I thought we were doing him a favor. And it was so much fun, we just kept doing it. I love Iron Maiden now. So I saw you guys at the Australian Wildfire fundraiser. Yep. And yep. Uh, how did that go? That went really, really well. We raised a lot of money for a very, very good cause. That was multiple events all over Toronto. Yeah. Is that one of your first gigs then? Uh, for Sebastian? No, I think it was his third or fourth. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was a pretty good one I got on video. So why don't you give it a big rock and roll introduction then? So, introducing one of Maiden 06's lead guitar player. The band is named after him because he was born in 2006. Mr. Sebastian Baz Burnside. Musicians in bars getting beers. Baz, how you doing, buddy? I'm great, how are you? Yeah, we're at the Lensmore. Are you getting a beer tonight by any chance? I'm not, unfortunately. Not yet. Just, not a, just yet. a year under. There's a saying that um, if it isn't fun, it ain't worth doing. And this has been a lot of fun. But his mom and dad have been like a second family to me. I'm old enough to be this kid's grandfather, and he's been like a little brother I never had. And I mean that seriously. We tease the hell out of each other. Well, it's it's cool that you know some of the younger generation are playing old metal. My son calls old metal just music. Yeah. <laughs> like Sabbath is not metal. It's just music. I feel bad for a lot of today's generation because there was so much radical change in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and 80s little bit in the 90s and now it's all just a rehash of stuff that's already been done yeah okay. i mean when you were in high school were you walking around in a benny benny goodman t-shirt no i already said record player to him and then i had to you know check it <laughs> so okay let me get back to baz and we'll do the band again hit everybody what happened they took off. musicians in bars well, getting beer sebastian well, burnside well, I, made it six. Bucks? Huh? I think i own 20 bucks did he say something <laughs> nice about me oh yeah you do own me 20 bucks johnny hey john Hey, John. Big John's been on the Big show John. before. How's it going? John, how do I pronounce it? Leverdingen. 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 Yeah. All right, John. Yes, sir. Made in 06. What else you got going? Oh, Decibels of Dio. Madam with this guy. With this guy, yeah. Uh, Hellbent with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, Maiden with this guy. <laughs> All with me. These guys. Yeah. John just kind of follows me around. Yeah, where he goes, I go. <laughs> So Jimmy's been on the show before. What did she do mostly on the show last time? Do you need to we correct We talked anything? mostly about Helen Back, which is still going. We've got Made in 06, uh, Cocked and Loaded, which is a 70s and 80s hard rock and metal cover. Uh, yeah, it's been going well, keeping busy. Keeping busy. And John, tell what's going on with your scene. My scene? Well, I'm just having fun, playing music, getting ready to retire soon to play more music. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Passing the torch. Oh, the kid's here. Here. this guy was born with the torch. And your kid's here. <laughs> yeah, he's here, too. Tell us about that. Well, he's a guitar player. Most people have heard of him, I'm sure. Uh, he's not doing anything right now. He's looking for another band to put together. Uh, other than that, yeah, I don't know. He's a good kid. Playing some rock and roll. I asked a new question over the past couple of years that I stole from... And I, you already know. I stole from Woodstock, believe it or not. A nerd with a tie and thinking, like a British dude with a microphone and the wire comes walking in. And the, these people must have been on acid or whatever, right? He's grooving. And he's, Hello. Why is music the great communicator? This is universal language. Yeah, tell us more about it. Well, can I tell you? Everybody in the world can understand music. It's universal. doesn't matter what language you speak. Music's music. You can hear it. You can hear it. You can yeah, feel it. music is also a great memory generator. Oh yeah. You hear a song hear a that song. you remember from being in high school, it always yeah. brings you back to exactly where that you were moment. at the time yeah. you first heard that song. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. And uh, what's in the future for you? We're just going to keep booking shows. Um, 
These are some of the best musicians I've ever worked with in my life. Uh, so we're just going to keep booking shows. And I'll tell you, if you're booking an ACDC tribute, it's a very popular band. you got to keep ladies dancing. Iron Maiden is a guy's band, but we still get a lot of ladies that love Iron Maiden coming out to our shows. It's because of the hot guitar player. <laughs> yeah, Nathan's really good looking. Yeah. He kind of hurts us. <laughs> yeah, you and your red pants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with his red pants? That's how we see him in the dark. Bruce Dickinson wore red pants. Yeah, but Bruce Dickinson. He's putting down Bruce Dickinson. Dickinson. No, he's putting hey, down Dickinson. you in red Dickinson. pants. He's putting, Dickinson. Dickinson. putting down Bruce Dickinson. I, I can. I can uh, but he's Dickinson. Time. I'm all caught. <laughs> you got anything more? No, I'm good. Jimmy, you got one really special occasion that happened in the past little while that uh, I actually saw on TV. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, that was uh, awesome. two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about that. So I can't tell you everything because I signed a contract. But what you saw isn't exactly what happened. Uh, I had the crowd on their feet, with their fists in the air. What You're talking you Canada's Got Talent? Yeah. I had the crowd on their feet with their fists in the air, and every time a judge said no, they booed loudly at the judge. Like <laughs> but it was still an amazing, what amazing experience. Do? I did come on, feel the noise. So I, uh, I got Rudy Sarzo's vote of approval on that. But awesome. when you only got two minutes in an audition, yeah. not the best song to do. No. If I could have done the whole song, I would have been different. You should have sang some Beyonce or something. Jimmy. I was, I had Dio, but they couldn't get the, they couldn't get the permission. Oh, they need Dio. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. They need permission for whatever songs they Are you put allowed in to there. say that? Yeah. Okay. But it was a lot of fun. I recommend it highly. You learn a lot. Let me tell you that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was great. So you recommend the audition process? I really, know. really do. It's That's a cool. lot of fun, and uh, I've actually gotten a lot of great promotion from it. Musicians in bars getting beer. I got Jimmy Alcock, made in 06 and more, and I got Sebastian Burns. So thanks for being on the show. Of course.